the most important choice that I made is um, relying on open intelligence. That's the most important choice and actually we have a flyer in the information table about the most important choice you can ever have in, make in your life. So for me, being introduced to open <coughs> intelligence was so uh, amazing because um, it, it gave me immediate opportunity to empower myself, to, to be of benefit to all, to really see what will be of most benefit to all in a clear way, in a mature way. And um, it's, it's not that before I made the training, I, I was not of benefit, but I was so busy with all kinds of thoughts and emotions. I, I really thought I needed to change them. I needed to change my negative experiences in order to feel good. I needed to change my experiences or to have certain relationships in my life or to have the relationship in a certain way, to have sex in a certain way. So I was always thinking, how can I change the, the flow of my thoughts and emotions, my feelings? We call it here data. How can I change these data streams to, to feel good, to be happy, to be of benefit to all? But when I came to the training, again, it was amazing because the trainer said, says, I don't need to change anything. That was quite radical. I don't need to change my thoughts and emotions in order to, to feel good or to be of benefit to all or to be happy. I can allow everything to be as it is. And, and that was uh, uh, quite amazing, but also I couldn't see how, how can that be the case in my own life because I couldn't recognize that in my own experience, but the introduction was so powerful. And every day here in the open meeting, we share the introduction of open intelligence, of stop thinking for a moment. Just stop thinking for a moment, for a short moment. Allow yourself to relax as you are. And in an instance, all these, these thoughts and emotions, they're coming back. But stop thinking for a moment. And what remains when you stop thinking? What is completely reliable? What is always open, always stable, <laughs> always clear? Just for that instant of stopping thinking, you recognize open intelligence. That's, that's the power <coughs> to know. That's the power to know, rely on that. Rely on what is looking, what is sensing, what is seeing, what is acting, what is feeling, what's looking. Rest right there and, and allow everything to be as it is. So stop thinking for a moment. And again, these thoughts and emotions may come. And, and that's fine too. That's open intelligence too. Know that to be your true nature, open intelligence, inseparable from all these data streams. Data streams, everything we perceive, all our thoughts and emotions, sensations, people, places, things, sex, guilt, shame, fear, allow it to be as it is in complete relaxation for a short moment. And the, the practice of balanced view is short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes continuous, spontaneous, automatic. Without you even thinking about short moments, they suddenly come to you. You recognize yourself as open intelligence, inseparable from everything you experience in your life. So for me, to come to that training and to recognize that, and even if not believing to that, just testing that in my own experience and seeing how it applied to my own life circumstances, to myself. I said, okay, short moment sounds simple, sounds great, I will try that. And what I started to see in my own experience is that I just um, <coughs> became more relaxed about things and allowed myself to be as I am even though I didn't like it or even though I felt negative in certain relationships or situations. I just allowed it to be as it is for short moments of open intelligence. And in that I said, wow, there is not even, nothing happens. 
it's, it's actually fine to, to leave everything as it is and to gain confidence in open intelligence and to see that I'm able to speak in ways that are of benefit to all, act in ways that are of benefit rather than collapsing to my thoughts and emotions, really thinking that they mean something because I truly believe they mean something. Acting in a certain way, reacting, like we had in the video. Reacting on all, all of this sensation that comes up for us. So instead, allow everything to be as it is. This is so simple yet so profound. So that's for me reality as it is, like being aligned with reality, seeing everything clearly, not shying away, not running away. Seeing everything, facing everything completely, avoiding nothing. And there are things that we don't like about ourselves, so what? What does it mean? What will it do? When we learn open intelligence, we see that we can allow all these flow of data streams to be as it is. We maintain open intelligence in the midst of guilt, shame. <clears throat> the data are unpredictable. Today we have this set of data, this moment, and then the next moment, and the next moment. How can we ever rely on that? How can we ever live like that? Isn't it confusing? <coughs> so confusing, so hopeless so unpredictable, we can never hold on to our experience of positive, negative, in between. What is completely reliable? It's good to ask ourselves this question. What is completely reliable, unstoppable, always on? What is always loving, always open, always stable, clear? What is it? So when we learn open intelligence, we see, oh, that open intelligence is always present. When I'm speaking, when I'm not speaking, when I'm feeling, not feeling, when I have guilt or love. Everything, everything at ease. When I feel lonely, I rely on open intelligence. I, we, don't, we don't need to think how the feeling of loneliness is open intelligence. We just let it be as it is or the duality of things, or the inseparability of everything. There is instinctive recognition in every moment. Like the color blue and the sky inseparable, that's how our data seems inseparable from open intelligence. And we keep it simple in that way, without thinking about it. Allow the thinking about <laughs> things to be as it is, and rest naturally. Rest naturally as we are. As we are, it's so easy because <coughs> because it's so uncontrived. It's so natural to be as we are. It's, it's, just, it's just very natural, like being here together. There is a deep sense of intimacy and connection without even knowing each other. And not in a strange way, in a natural way. <laughs> we don't need to have sex to be together or to love each other. We don't need to pin it down in some ways. We can experience that intimacy and connection fully. And from that vantage of relying on open intelligence for short moments many times, we, we, our actions are of benefit to all. It's like our relationships for the benefit of all, our speech for the benefit of all. Our body is shifting to the benefit of all. It doesn't look in a certain way, it looks in a natural way. Like coming here to the center, you see everyone so, so it is, so relaxed, so open and loving. How can you fake something like that? But that's the way we are. That's just the way we are. So the most important choice is not to emphasize the, the state of strength constantly. You know, believing they have independent nature, something we have to act on to say something because we feel it, because we think about it. What about resting deeply, like an open intelligence instead? 
and discerning what would be of most benefit to all. That, that's, that's the purity in every moment. That's a life of benefit. That's how nothing is confusing. Everything is the natural relationship with everything in everyone. Everything is unfolding in that way, but in a clear way as well. Not being stuck in some kind of state that open intelligence is always there. Being very clear in every moment what to do, what to say. I used to be so confused about making decisions. If I will take these decisions, this will happen. But if I will make the other decision, that will happen. So I, I couldn't make any choice. So the most powerful choice for me is to just allow that not knowing to be as it is. Not knowing what to decide, what to do. Also to allow that to be as it is. And from there to see how solutions comes about in a clear way. It's, it's just, uh, it, it comes about naturally and, and, and the support in the training is so is so powerful, like these short moments of open intelligence, whenever we remember to do so. And then the, the trainings, media, listening to talks and, and just remaining open to listen. And in that, you find instinctive recognition of open intelligence without any effort, anything that needed to be done. You don't even think about open intelligence, but it's there, it's naturally present. So listening to the talks and coming to trainings and reading the texts, and then suddenly you see yourself maintain open intelligence. You understand instinctively what it means. You have the complete introduction. Everything comes about in a perfect way. And then the relationship with the trainer and even coming to the open meetings and asking questions and having the trainers here to clarify. Trainers are participants who have committed their life to the benefit of all and sharing their experience of relying on, on the Four Mainstays. How it is for us? How do we live the Four Mainstays lifestyle just like you? And then dedicating our entire life for that. So having a relationship with a trainer is so powerful because it confirms that recognition over and over again without fail to show that it's always the case. And then coming to the community and seeing everyone, you don't need even words. It's, it's, so, it's so special just to be here. The warmth of the community, the welcoming, everywhere in the world. You have the same, the same home, community in Goa and community in Sweden and in England and in Australia, Israel, everywhere, all over the world, people relying on open intelligence in the four mainstays. And it's, it's just wonderful to live like that.